a volé encore, vous me faites signe après. Ça s'appelle... Du sirop de, de, Non, de, 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 de l'eau. Mais on l'a fichu à la porte. <rire> C'est vrai ah, oui. oui, je sais. Il était à Paris. On et, et celui qui m'a témoigné... Boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another Soso production, April 27, 2022. No big deal. Thank you very much. Doing it in the city. There's a new champ in the city. Who are we talking about? What are we talking about, ladies and gents? It is, man, this one's gonna, it's gonna hit you right here. It's bittersweet. Not gonna lie, fam. It's bittersweet. So buckle up. Strap on the strap ons. Just buckle up. Buckle down, get ready. You know, some time ago I started doing this whole storytelling, making jokes. I didn't even know what I was getting myself into, but then I tapped into something. And I went with it. But one of the stories that I covered a while ago, in the early stages, way back, was about a beautiful lady, champion of mine, heroine, you could say. Who am I talking about? Again, this is bittersweet. Oh, this one's for you, mama. Talking about Kane Tanaka, baby. Oldest person in the world, 119 years old, if I'm not mistaken. She recently passed away. I just found out because I did a video about her. I was celebrating her. I was hoping she'd go up till 125, 130, push in life. But unfortunately, I believe we uh, lost her last week sometime. So that's a bummer, but, but, you know, it's the circle of life. Rest in peace, mama, but that's the circle of life. And now we got a new champ. We got a new champ in the city. Who are we talking about? I'm talking about Sister Andre. Sister Andre holding it down in France at the ripe old age of 118, if I'm not mistaken. She even had COVID, Schmovid earlier on some time ago and she beat it 118 years old the guinness world record holder for the oldest person out there just doing it and uh you know i went ahead uh, before you guys started watching me speak you saw a little video and i'm going to translate i'm going to translate what she just said for you Okay, this is a message from, again, she speaks in French. My French is a little bit rusty. I did a loose translation, loose translation all day, every day. Just gonna read you a little bit of her thoughts because they were interviewing her and it's words of wisdom. Okay, I'm just, again, this is verbatim what she said exactly. So, you know, again, my French is a little bit rusty, but this is the core message. They asked Sister Andre if you'd like to share it. A message with the world and this is what she said she said fuck the status quo bend the rules if i can change and you can change everybody can change <laughs> her words not mine it ain't how hard you hit. <laughs> it ain't it ain't how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward her words not mine them bitches ain't got nothing on me. Sister Andre's words, not mine. This is just a job to me, no days off. No days off. <laughs> then she asked, have I served your appetite for entertainment? You know? She also mentioned, don't let the fat cats hold you down. And I know it was a shorter video of her speaking, but she said all of this. It's French, you guys don't know, and hey, you're welcome. Lastly, she finished off by saying something along the lines of, all others are posers. I'm the real one holding it down here in France. Everyone else who sees this life and they think they can come in here and get old overnight. This shit takes time. This shit takes practice, dedication, coming in on days when you don't feel like coming in. And then she, you know, she was she dropped the mic and she was rolled off stage and shout out to sister andre the new belt holder 118 baby keeping it tight 
I think she used to be a nun. I don't think uh, she, I don't think she's nun around now, but back in the day, she's been in the. She's 118 years old, dude. She's been around. She's centenarian, they call them. So they've been there over a century. Fuck, dude. When you pass a hundred, you've seen things. You've seen wars. You've seen. You've seen people fight. You've seen people make up. You know. You've been in, you've seen countries come and go. You've seen presidents, prime ministers, queens come and go. You've seen so many bands, so many movies, so many faces. Gosh, golly, but those are her words. Again, loose translation, you're welcome. Who's translating French verbatim? You boys got your back. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of, uh, you know, so what we could say is rest in peace, sister Kane Tanaka. You held the you held the record, baby. You held the record. But now it's now we put all our hopes on Sister Andre, 118. I hope she lives past, you know. I hope she breaks the record. I believe the record holder for the oldest person, again, recorded. We don't know these things. Maybe somebody a couple of hundred years ago was living till the ripe old age of 150, 175. Who knows, dude? Good jeans, living in south of France, sipping on that wine and cheese, baby. You sipping on cheese, daddy? If you sipping on that cheese, baby, you bet your bottom dollar you're gonna be rolling around till 150, dude. But if you sipping on cheese and wine, south of France, no surveillance. We're talking 1829. No, you know, you just got, you know, nobody's bothering you. The biggest problem is all. How do I make sure my cattle doesn't go too far away? Uh. Problems, you know what I'm talking about, but they live longer some people So but now we put all our hopes all our eggs in that basket, which is in the form of Miss sister Andre baby shout out to sister Andre holding it down. I hope you go to one How you know however long you want it's a, it's been a great run however long you want to run for really that's 120 125 but that's the thing, baby. I'm, I'm, I get excited about these things just because it's just one of those little reminders that, man, we are stretching that lifespan. You know, that lifespan is getting stretched. We're aging at a slower pace, or at least we're aging at the same pace, but we get to, you know, remedy the departure a little bit if you feel me, you know? Because everybody wants to be going at a fast pace, but nobody wants to go so fast that they exit, right? Everybody wants to linger on. That's what it is, baby. Live slow, die late, you know? It's the way to go, baby. Just linger on. Your family's like, man, am I in the will? Wait for it. Never know. Who's been naughty? Who's been nice? But that's what that is, man. How old do you guys want to live? If I had a choice, if I could just, you know what? If I could like pick it, if I can set it and forget it, dog. Hundreds good, dude. Hundreds good. I don't want more than a hundred. You know, I, at the same rate, there's a part of me that wants to, you know. But if we can, again, if we can slow down the process of aging, if I can like look relatively close to what I look like right now and I'm like 125, keep it going. Keep it going, you know? But if I'm gonna be, you know, not, that, that's the thing. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna have to rely on this guy. Oh, somebody come carry his arm, dude. His arm needs somebody to just hold it, hold underneath his arm. His arm's just, you know? Eyeball keeps falling out. Somebody's just, oh, grandpa's eyeball's falling again. Fucking gorilla glue that shit back in, baby. Make sure it's straight. Make sure I'm looking straight at you. Okay. So that's that. Yeah, how old do you guys want to live? Do you guys, gals, want to live till 80, 90, 100, 110, 125? Does anybody out there, you know, because there comes that time where you do reach a point where you're like, okay, I've been around, I've seen a few things. And that's the thing, man. Life as beautiful as it is, I think it's more beautiful because of the fact that it's finite it's limited you know limited edition baby we're all limited edition out here doing 
that, you know, we, we do that. Life's that big old game of, you know, peekaboo. You know, here one second, gone the next. So that's, you know, it makes you appreciate life. Because if it didn't have, if there, if there were no, like, if there was no time, if there was no limit on it, you'd just be, oh, man. People be, yeah, this puts a little bit of, you know, it, it cracks a little fire underneath your little tush, dude. Feel me? You get a little bit of that spark energy coming in. You look at the, I was looking at the calendar the other day. I'm like, man, it's like, and, and my phone, just like flipping through, scrolling through it. Just scrolling fast to get to like next decades. And like, I'm like, man, it'd be really cool to be like, date wise just to like pop in at like i don't know what are we in right now 2022 you know pop in at like 2100 dude 2200 fuck it just like i scrolled all the way to the year 3000 and they've made it in there so you know it's gonna happen you know this shit's been written son this shit's been written down that's kind of correlated to what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk a little bit about, if I may, that deja vu, son. That deja vu. That repetition. That frick it, frick it, frick it. Fresh repetition, baby, all over again. As of late, I've just been having moments of, you know, am I, it's not, it's, I've had deja vus, you know, in the past, dabbled a little bit, you know. It's all right, not a big deal, happens to the best of us. But recently, I don't know, I'm getting some things happening with my time frame, with my experiences visually. I'm seeing, let me just, let me talk about it so if we can make sense, I don't know if we're gonna make sense of it, but maybe it'll, maybe it'll get us like an inch closer to something. I've been having moments of repeats but I'm not talking about like, it really genuinely feels like I've had moments, like I've been here before. Again, it's it's got that deja vu-esque sense to it. So it feels like a little bit like, a de even like it really kicked in actually, forgot to talk about this again, like digesting everything, going through everything that happened to me while I was on stage a few weeks back. And I don't know, I was going through it at the same rate as I was going through it. I just like taking everything that happened. It felt like I was, it really felt familiar. I don't know how to explain. It felt like I've done this before in this particular setting, but I've never done that thing in that particular setting. So it just, it was weird, man. I just had one of those moments and it wasn't particularly like a deja vu it was as if, because deja vu, it clicks, you're like, hey, wait a second, this felt more like, I don't know how to explain it. Literally, the only, like, w using words, I, I'd say it felt like I've been here before. But then, I like, obviously, you know, that's, uh, I'm, have you guys experienced that? Have you guys, like, whether you want to call it deja vu or just an instant in life where you're like, man, is this a repeat? Are we repeating something here? What's going on? You know, it's like the movie in your life, movie's going... And somebody, it's like, you know, old timey cartoons where they use it like if, uh, if it was a moving scene, it'd be very minimal, right? A car or a person moving. And then the background, you'd notice like they use the same image. You know, the, you see the same tree or bush or bird fly over like three, four frames. And you're like, oh, okay, saving time, money, I get it. But man, when it comes to money in my slides, bro, money's not an option. New slides all day, you know what I mean? Frame by frame, frame by frame, frame by frame, new frames. That's what I want. Not to say, you know, that's what it is. Deja vu, I'm not like, you know, I'm not hating on deja vu. You, you want to be a little bit wooed out, baby? You know, you want to get wooed out, baby? Let's do it. I'm down with a deja vu. I'll wooed out every day. I, every day would be kind of scary. That'd be, that'd be hella scary, dude. Because that's just, you're stuck in the same day. That is, yeah, not cool. But, you know, thank God every day is different. But also it leads you to like question. Th and I've had, I've had things happen to me and like, I had a deja vu instant yesterday too. But it actually like, it happened twice. Like I've been in that, I've, the same situation happened again. Very much similar to the first time it happened. I got bit by a dog. Bit by a big tiny dog, baby. It was 
vicious. This tiny dog was vicious. And it happened for the second time, dude. It's one of my neighbor's dogs. We, you know, I come around, I exit my door. I walk to where the elevator is at. They're walking with their dog. The dog's on a loose leash, tiny little dog. Got a lot of energy, barks, cute but barks and you know the leash was a little bit loose and this happened a while ago so just like the dog just jumped and like you know try to go for a bite on my knee got me last time got me again today yesterday so that's twice and re relatively in the same region too i can show you guys this hold on a sec let's display this if i may just so you guys don't doubt the realness to my stories, dude, because everything here is for real. It's for real, Z's, baby. You gonna fuck around here. Look at that. You guys see that? Y'all see that? I don't know if you can or not, but it's there. I need you to see this shit, dude. You see this shit? You see that shit right there, son? That shit right there wasn't there yesterday. Now it's, uh, now, here's the thing. I love animals, I love dogs, but you know, having a dog comes with responsibilities. You gotta train your dog, gotta train your pooch. Luckily, it's a smaller dog. Luckily, I already have rabies, so I'm not worried, dude. I'd be, you know, if it was a regular person, I'd be like, go oh, to a doctor, go get it checked out. But I, you know, self-medicate, I, uh, you know, I've never been a doctor, but I practiced one in my own life, for reals. I'm on them Googles, dude. I'm like, oh man, now I gotta get specific with my search titles. You know, what happens if you get bit by a dog, but it only scratches the surface, no blood's been drawn. No blood's been drawn, no blood's been sketched. You feel me? I'm just like typing exact situations, because I don't have to go to the doctor if need be. I can avoid it. Let's stay home. I don't want to go to the doctor. That's the thing. It didn't even occur to me. I ran into the guy at my local convenience store and like just chatting to him. I'm like, hey man, I gotta run quickly. Just let me grab a pack of smokes. And yeah, just the dog. And he's like, man. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't know the severity of the situation. He's like, you should sue. I'm like, dude, I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. But at the same rate, other people might be that guy or gal, and other people might be. You know, this is at my, and again, second time it's happened, this is around my knee area. So that's like the exact same height to where a baby's face would be, you know? I'm just saying. It's out there, you do with it what you will. And yeah, man, train your dogs, that's all there is to it. Or hold them tight on that leash, or I don't know, it's, train your dogs, spend a little bit, uh, yeah, it's, uh, second time so i had that instant i was just like and yeah i don't really i don't care dude i don't care i'm that type of dude it's just like i don't as long as it's nothing mage gonna roll with it but at one point i was looking at the symptoms i'm like man do i need to go get a shot or something what what are the symptoms of rabies let me just read it to you guys because this shit was kind of helpful but also not helpful because some of the symptoms just feel like my everyday normal life rabies symptoms <laughs> the first symptoms of rabies may be similar to the flu including weakness or discomfort fever or headache there are there are they there also may be discomfort prickling or itching sensation at the site of the bite these symptoms may last for days Symptoms then progress to cerebral dysfunction, anxiety, confusion, and agitation. I mean, I got half the list already. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm already rabied out, baby. We out here foaming at the mouth, dog. <laughs> cerebral dysfunction, anxiety, confusion, agitation. Dog, that's, you're, you're just basically, I'm, that's what it is, baby. So, <laughs> I'm not too worried <laughs> about the agitation or the, Confusion. I'm already, yo, call me Confucius, baby. Confused every day. What's going on? <laughs> Fuck, dude. I, that's the thing. 
I get lazy with this stuff. I don't care. Like, first time, nothing happened. And again, it's it literally it's the same instance because I remember the first time it happened, mine a little teeny tiny scratch like this. Like, and luckily I was wearing my, you know, my new not my new new but like new style of jeans what do they call them the jeggings for guys are they're not jeans anymore jeans aren't even jeans anymore man what's going on here stretchy fabric hella comfortable but it doesn't make you feel like you're wearing jeans which hey man it's all good you win some you win some point is it was the same little type of scratch surface scratch like that's not like you know maybe you call that a flesh wound maybe you call that you know it just grazed it feel me it just like a bullet wound that just oh but scratch the surface, no blood drawn, no big deal. But at the same rate, dude, that's the thing. Now I'm waiting for this, like, you know, past 24 hours I've been waiting. No symptoms, you know, but I'll let another 24 hours go. No itching, no scratching, no nothing, dude. But come Friday, if all goes well, man, I'm going to be rabied out all on Friday, dude. Common ear just foaming at the mouth, just struggling be biting myself and shit what happens when you get the rabies can your body cure rabies if you get it normally you know because i ran it under hot water dude i ran it under hot water that's what they, they're like ru run hot water over it don't scrub red like just let hot water run over the area that's been scratched or slightly bitten for five minutes so i'm there i'm there baby i'm in my i'm in my tub now just one knee in the tub Nothing like a uh, full-grown man, midday soaking his knee, dude. His hairy. I'm I'm just there sitting, soaking my hairy knee in the middle of the day, and that's five to fifteen minutes of my life that I'll never get back, dude. And that's the thing. I didn't want to risk it. At the same time, I don't want to like. So I turned it all the way up to like the extreme heat, dude. The most heat, like the most heated water, was running through them pipes running through them pipes dude you cannot get more heated through these pipes so that's what i did baby i ran that hot water all over my knee my knee looked like a it looked like red lobster bro it looked like i was kind of getting hungry at the same rate you know and like i it, dude if it, if it wasn't so hairy i'd take a bite i'm just saying but nonetheless we're here we're not foaming yet not yet but there's always hope for the future. And to be frank, it'd be, yeah, it'd be great for the show, you know, cause you always see people just being regulars. You know, I just come in here, just foaming at the mouth, dude. Oh, get to go on stage. Speaking of stage, dude, it's been, I'm not gonna lie to you fam, it's been a little bit of a uh, difficult time trying to book a spot to go on stage just because there aren't too many spots available. Few of the places aren't doing open mics yet in Toronto. They're waiting till summer. I don't know what for, but I get it. Businesses been hit for everybody. So that's that. But there's this one place that I'd like to keep going back to. And yeah, I've been emailing. I've been sending tons of emails. So hey, man, if you're receiving those emails, please respond. It'd be nice to know if your boy can book a spot. That's the thing. That's uh That'd be amazing, but you know, you never know. Maybe this is a, again, blessing in disguise, dude. A week from now, I get the okay, I get the green light. They're like, the green light's been lit. Come through. Your boy's coming through. Coming through, baby. Coming through. And I go there. And everybody, you've had it. It's that time of year, baby. Everybody's just, and we're, it's 2022, baby. We're mixing it up. Boy goes on stage, just foaming at the mouth. Just foaming at the mouth. I mean, Foaming at the mouth. Oh, man. Killer, dude. Just, you know. Fizzy water all over this face. Just bubbles everywhere. Have a little seizure. What's the What, what happens when you rabied out? What happens when you rabied? You just become, yo, if I can turn into like a little, fuck, dude. Zombie comedian, dude. Fucking foam. And that, that'd be my little, that's the thing. Because they're always like, find your niche. Find your foaming at the mouth. That's my niche. Just foaming and drooling. Biting myself. Does, do you go... What happens when you get rabies, dude? Do you go biting other people? Are vampires basically rabied out humans? What is it one of those things that only affects you? You know what I mean? Or is this something you can, you know, can you pass on rabies? Can I have rabies and have rabies babies? Is what I'm trying to say. Because, yeah. 
I, I'm lazy with it, man. When it comes to visiting the doctor, when it comes to, oh, go get, you know, prostate check. Go get your, go get your mammogram, dude. I'm so lazy with that shit. I've not had a mammogram ever, ever. But when the time's right, I'll flatten out this tit and just put it between the mammograph machine. Is there anything in there? Squeeze the tit. I'll do it. Not at that age yet, but I will do it. Yeah. Like, you need to put your whole time. Just like, there's, it's not much, but get in there. Squeeze that tit right in between the mammogram device, dude. Fucking Pancake City. You know? Get in there find out what you're made of so that's what i'm doing man living life not taking shit listening to my you know the the sages that are in our lives you know the beautiful souls that live past 100 and have words of wisdom that i just dropped on you and those were again exact translation english to french because you don't have time to go and be like man this sweet old lady looks real you know knowledgeable She's been around, she served in the war at one point, she was a nun helping everybody doing this, that, and the other is probably some words of wisdom. I and mean, when you read the fine print, you know, verbatim, it, it just clicks. <laughs> it just clicks, dude. So, <laughs> oh man, she's doing it out there. So yeah, but that's the thing, let's get, let's get her on the juice. Let's get her on the juice. Let's slow down the process. Let's see if she can go up to like 125. And then I want to see it. Have you know, I'm, I'm beginning to see a trend, okay? First oldest lady. Oh, and the record holder, if I'm not mistaken, it's 122 year old, a little further back. If I'm not mistaken, also female, which is, you know, it's like we're going, we're going duck, 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 or, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, we're, we're the fellas. Where the fellas is somebody out there aging it out in secret, dude? Are you 175 wrinkled out your mind, daddy? Get in there. You're a walking squirrel suit, dude. You're ready to fly, baby. You're you're on a windy day. You're just getting closer and closer to God with no effort, dude. Just let that skin take you where the Lord guides you. Feel me? Just flying south of France to Spania. Going there, dude, just fucking doing it. That's what I've been saying. Stretch out your skins. It's all about getting in there early. You want to stretch out your skin early, because if you don't, then ah, uh, oh, I'm still elastic. Everything's intact. Is what you'll say when you don't need things to be intact no more. That's what it is, dude. I'm dreaming of the days where I droop to the floor, dude. When I'm just like, oh. Fucking puddled out at 195, dude. 195, just a puddle on the ground, just fucking. I'd be like one of those, like, the dream is to become like one of those, like, mechanical little, like, you know, the little vacuums. I don't know what you call them, the little sucky, sucky vacuums, the ones that are like. Put it on the ground and it just like keeps going into corners and shit just keeps getting into corners and doesn't know how to back I want to be that but in human form just that's what I want to do live life baby shout out to everybody out there shout out to everybody out there thank you all for the love and support Whoever's been with me from the get-go, thank you very much. Whoever's just joining us today, this is a one-man band. It's a one-man show for the time being. We are rocking and rolling. I literally talk about everything and nothing, from the sacred to the mundane. And you can find these beautiful videos on three different platforms. What else you want? I got the YouTubes going. I got the Instagrams going. I got the Patreons going. So go ahead and talk about it. If you like what I suggest, if I were you, if I were you, if we were to change bodies for a day, change minds for, if I were you, if I were you, I would go ahead and click the subscribe button on YouTube. You can search Rob Sagri on YouTube so you can get the full length videos. That's right, full length videos. Cause on Instagram, it's a different ballgame. I gotta just chop that bad boy up, put a little bit of fentanyl in it, 
make sure everybody's getting served. What? Okay, maybe we're gonna just take away, remove the fentanyl. Ah, oh, fine. A little goes a long way. Doesn't? Losing customers at this point. Stop with the fentanyl. Just pure fentanyl, dude. Just cotton fentanyl with fentanyl. That's what we do around here, baby. Again, customer retention, probably not the highest, but man, is it worth it? Probably not. You're saying fentanyl is not the way. I, I, I don't even know how we got there, dude, but just like chop it up, put it on ice, shake it and stir it, double stir it, and serve it to your mate. That's what you want to do. So yeah, go ahead and hit those subscribe buttons because it helps your boy if you like. And if you don't like, do it anyway, just to fucking be the, you be the counterculture. You stick it to the man. You're, you're the man? Oh, fuck. Okay. Hey, you're the, you're the man, man. Hey, there. You're, who's the man? That guy's the man. And who's, who's the gal? Who's the biggest gal with the biggest tits out there? Swinging big tits. Uh, you are. You got small tits. Small tits are fine, too. No big deal. Small tits, large tits, medium-sized tits. Ball sacks, you're just, you're mixing and matching at this point, and I don't blame you. Things can get frustrating out there, but it doesn't matter. You know what takes away your frustration? From the, you wanna just get away for about 45 minutes to an hour on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and just put away all the hustle and bustle, get away from all the noise, the chit chat, the extras. Here's where we take away the extras, baby, but we also add in more extras. We're fighting extras with extras. That's what we're doing. We're entertaining each other, tickling each other's membranes, becoming family members, joining. We're becoming a gang. That's one of the biggest things, one of the biggest gangs in the world right now. Glad you made it. Thank you very much. It's always a social production. We do things by the book, one book. not a book right now there will one day be a book guarantee you there will one day be a book it's plural dude multiple books but we do things by the we don't really have rules around here either so it's loose you like things loose you like that loose labia you like it dangling do you like it dangling all the way to your knees you want to just go oh I'm tired of regular, you know, I want to go, I want to go live in a vagina is what you're saying. You want to move into a vagina. Do it. I'm there to support you. You know, you want to pack your bags and just move in. Just, hello. Oh, hello. Anybody in there? In there? No one's in there. Guess what? You're home now. You're welcome and maybe you're looking for that you know maybe you're out there maybe you already got you know maybe you already got the fan your your time's up but it but it but it also has just started because congratulations on the family man nothing's more important than family and here we're all about the nuclear family the parentals the kids maybe a couple of loose grandparents out there just pushing the boundaries of life, really. So, or maybe you're single. Like I said, maybe you want to move into a new puss. Maybe you want to get in. Maybe you want to ride a new D, support you 100%. Because you don't, what I, I just read something recently, forget where, <laughs> it's that rabies, bro. It's kicking in. I feel it foaming. <laughs> it said, if you don't play, you don't win. And it's true, son. It's true, daughter. It's true cousins, second cousins removed, yo. We're like a third cousin removed. We're a family, no incense. Right? But at the same rate, okay. At the same rate, at the same rate, okay, you don't want, okay. At the 
same rate. You don't want to. Raw cousins is what I'm trying to say. That's what that is, and that's what that is. We're together doing it, growing. We're like. We're like the monkey that can't stop clapping back, dude. We're that monkey that won't stop clapping back. That's what we are. Sure, things get hairy around here. Sure, things get a little bit squirrely at times, but no need to panic because your boy's in it and we're in it to win it together. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the city on our back. City's on our back. Oh shit, it's getting heavy, but who's got them shoulders? Who got the widest shoulders in the city? You've got the widest shoulders in the city, Sister Andre, holding down France on your shoulders for 118 years. Where the fowl's at, dude? Where the fowl's at? Like I said, daddy, if you're there, just, you know, Dumbledore and her out there, fucking like, you know, beard out till here. You know, you're all, all, you're just the big old, you're just all beard, dude. You're all beard. Uh, maybe you're a pirate, all beard. 199 year old pirate of the, you know, just pipe, just surfing the Caribbean, dude. Big beard, gray beard. That's what you are. Maybe that's what you do. Maybe we don't hear about it because you're out there, you're getting that fresh, sea breeze you feel me you're that oh fresh sea breeze nothing keeps the lungs rejuvenated like fresh sea breeze brought to you by temperature and climate you're welcome sea breeze also the name of the boat also the name of the horse because the captain's got to have a boat and a horse can't be fooling around here without a boat and a horse that's what we do that's the type of life you're living out there and i i I'm in awe. When I look at you, you beautiful men and women out there who've gone through life and are still going through life and you're great and you're beautifully tanned. And I wanna hear your stories, dude. Why do we wait till like last minute to give out the roses, you know? Why do we wait till 118, 190? Somebody put a mic on these bitches and these guys out here who are pushing the boundaries. Let them speak. I want to know what you've learned. I want to know what you're thinking. Are you seeing anything? Having difficulty seeing, huh? I don't blame you, but it doesn't matter. It's beautiful, and I like to know what what are, what are more of your thoughts. And you know, don't get in there and treat them like babies because they're not babies. They're sure. We, we, and I, it comes for everybody, man. It comes for everybody, and I can't wait till that age comes for me too when I'm just a big old baby. Just fucking back to fucking regressing, just drooling and just, you know? Change me, but don't change me. You feel me? Just all the good. It's, it's there, man. It's there. It's in your future. I see it for myself as well. And. Yeah, I want to hear more stories of that because, like, what are your, you know, what are your thoughts? What do people, if you were to, you know, again, going back to it, just like in terms of like longevity, is there anything like you recommend? You know, a lot of boozing, a lot of smoking, a lot of the sex, a lot of the risky behavior. Is it that sort of thing? Is it what do you, what do you that like? Are, are you, are you championing moderation there? Or are you the type that's just like, oh, I've never left my house. I'm 155 years old, but I've never, and they're like, what's your secret? Never left the house. Beautiful, long life, but never left the house. Maybe that's your secret. If that's the secret, well then, fuck it. Because, yeah, dude, what's the point? If you're going to be like 155, never left the house. That's like a goldfish in a gold bowl. Or a fish bowl. That's gold. That's like, a, that's like a goldfish in a pond, which is relatively better than just a big old or a medium sized fish bowl. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're just a big old, maybe you're just a goldfish and a river. Okay, river is pretty fucking dope, ain't it? Cause now you're going down the river. Now you're like, skirt, skirt, let me just go up the river for a while. Let me just flap my wings like a salmon. Feel me? Maybe you're that bad boy fish salmon flapping his wings. Best of both worlds. You know, going upstream, hitting a couple of rocks, losing a little bit of sensation up in the frontal lobe region, but hey, it's okay. You've been through it. You'll get through it. You're gonna move forward 
and you're gonna cross new boundaries and you're gonna get to better boundaries from then on and, and then whoa what's this the river just led into the lake oh man a ton of all the fish now we're just fucking now we're now we're swimming baby and you're exposed and everybody else is exposed and now we're swimming and looking at each other man feels good to be alive and kicking around here's what you're saying to yourself and again it's not about where you come from it's not about when you want to start it's a matter of do you want to start or would you like to finish at one point if you said yes to any of those questions then where are you baby like we're out there you know doing it thank you very much for all the love and support seriously it does mean a lot i want you to be talking about this program at your company meetings when they sell you know the stocks or the they're coming in there with their laser pointers and their long thin metal rods used for pointing at the board you know that you know what i'm talking about the, the ones that extend the ones that look like an antenna maybe it's an antenna from an old car built in the 80s early 90s still parts can be used reuse recycle that's what i'm saying they're pointing and they're like, man, look at this bar. Look at that chart. Look at this graph. Look at the other graph. Ooh, it's a Venn diagram. They bring in puppets. You got a puppet you put on the puppet show. Who's the puppet master? You're the puppet master. Who's pulling the strings? You are the strings. No, you're pulling the strings. You are the puppet. You're pulling the strings of the, you put it on a show. Basically, you tell them about the show. You're like, man, Jim, how's this related to, to our, you know, our, our sales target? And you're like, in every way, in every way imaginable. In every way, you, I want you to just clear off the table everything. I just want everything, coffee, uh, notepads. They've equipped you with nice new iPads. Toss it on the floor. I, I, you broke the iPads, didn't you? You broke, oh man, they're calling you going to HR right now. All right, okay, fuck, okay. Maybe just, hey. I, I get it, I get it, if I were you again, if we were to just switch spots for a second and get, we're easily excitable, you and me, easily excitable, dude. You, you give us a little bit of a, you know, chocolate bar, chocolate ice cream, anything dosed with a little bit of chocolate, you know, excitement, all the way jacked up. But point is, you go in there to the meeting, you take over the meeting. Who's become the most successful sales person in the region? in the district and the county nationwide dog why because of the show hey man i'm out here just trying to again i come in here and i just treat it like what it be and it's just what i does now what you do with this information what you go out there and do with your special set of skills is up to you but we come together as a gang at the end of the day but the target's got to be met target's got to be met well, it's got to get knocked out you know all of it all of it i got your back dude i got your back lady whatever you want to do you want to you want to go jumpy gliding you want to go you want to go bungee cording you want to be you want to do you want to you want to become a triathlete you want to go you want to you want to try things as an athlete dude do it. I support you. I support you. A hundred percent. You know? Whatever you're doing, whether you're, maybe you're in the arts, like your boy. Maybe you're in the farts, again, like your boy. Maybe you're doing, maybe you're in the trades. Maybe you're a tradesperson. Maybe you're a traitor. You a fucking goddamn traitor? Put your hands up if you're a traitor. Get him. Get him. But also, your art, your ours. So don't be, don't be trading with the wrong side. Feel me? We're on the same. We're one team, one team, one globe, one many countries, one people united under many, many banners. One many banners flags but one people one heart many hearts united as one taking over taking over taking over like the rats took over the underground baby oh wait 
We're taking over like the cockroaches have infested the undergrounds also. Wait, what? We're in the underground, baby. We're in the underground. We're in the belly of the beast doing storytelling like it's never been done before. Who's serving you out stories on a daily Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Nobody. Some are doing it. Different levels, different things. Everybody's okay, fine. A lot of people do it. But doesn't mean that you can't watch this one. Doesn't mean that you can't support the other guys too. Because guess what? All the other guys and gals and your boy and you and me, same Z's. Same team, same team, same fucking team. So if I got bit by a dog, you didn't get bit by a dog and you're okay. And I'm glad that you're okay. But if I got bit by a dog and you're like, man, I want to get bit by a dog, I don't recommend it. But your body, your choice, baby. Your body, your choice. Because that's the thing to have. You know what it is, man? I blame it on my... I just... I forgive and forget, dude. I forgive and forget. I forgive and forget, and I don't even like it. Does not, it's not even a forgiven thing. It's not even like I don't. I, I like life. Just like I just. It happened a while ago, many a months ago, right? So I forgot. And in the meantime, I've seen that dog before too. So I've stepped in the elevator. I've been the dog, just like you know, a friendly dog. Some days it's barking. Some days it's you know, chewing on my kneecap like a goddamn pacifier dude just fucking oh man you know what it is dude it was that's yeah just not really train your dogs but also maybe you already are training your dog maybe that little whatever kind of dog that is maybe that dog's a big old you know maybe he's working for the cartel no wait he's wait he's working against the cartel maybe He's that, he's that little chihuahua, that little canine can sniff out all in powders, maybe. I don't know. I'm not judging. But judging a little bit, train your dogs. Because that's what it is, man. Next thing you know, baby goes, you know, oh, baby's nose is missing. Why? You know why. And again, second time it's happened, just saying. So I've had repetitions. You probably out there in different forms had repetitions, deja vus. What are they? I frankly don't know, you know, there's, uh, the world is amazing. I'm astonished and just, you know, trying to make sense of it all, but it's hella fun going through it, experiencing life. This is beautiful. I wouldn't trade it for any other thing. I'm extremely grateful, very happy where I'm at. I'm just moving forward, baby. So thank you again for all the love and support. And again, whatever you're doing out there, maybe you're, whatever you're doing, maybe you're a jet technician, just jet tech in that Jet tech, baby. You're teching that jet. Jet teching all day, baby. Jet teching all day. Maybe you're out on the, maybe you're out there in the front lines. Maybe it's summertime. Maybe it, maybe you're a lifeguard. I always wanted to be a lifeguard. Not really. I I mean, I guarded from afar, but like I guarded from like, I'd, I'd be part of a team. If I were the lifeguard, I'd be part of a team. I'd be like, don't go there too deep come back lifeguard you know i i like the outfit not gonna lie i like the outfit and i like life and i like guards so there's that and i, I tell people not to do things if they were like oh you're going too far oh the waves are mad high today and you'll be there with your boogie board and your surfwear like yeah that what you know that's what makes it special we're gonna go catch some dirty waves out there i'm like okay and you're there, right in that big old wave, and nothing happens ever, because who's really good with the boogie board and the surfboard? You are stealing thunders every day in the summer, but guess what, baby? Seasons change, daddy, fall, winter, spring, weather's not permitting, is it? It is where you live. It's really nice where you live sometimes, isn't it? You're in Hawaii, aren't you? Okay, fair enough. You're just a big old surfer slash boogie boarder. Look at Mr. Big Boogie Board Surfer. Just killing all the surfs out there. Frankly, you're just, uh, you know, if, if, if I know we're showboating out here, if we're showboating out here, then it's a different story. But, you know, if I were strapped with a big boogie board and a surfboard, dude, on the fucking waves, dude, oh, crush the waves. Crush with the waves? Fucking surfs down, baby. 
You know what it is? Fucking surfs down. Cause everybody fucking surfs up, bro. You go, I surf underwater. When the when the waves come, I'm underwater, baby. You're like, where's he at? Underwater, baby. Snorkel, snorkel. I'm out there doing it, and I support you. Whatever you're doing, maybe you're into maybe you're into sports. Like I said, maybe you're into just throwing bicycle kicks, just throwing bicycle, mad bicycle kicks. I support you. Maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a lawyer, I support you as well. Maybe you're a cop, I support you. Maybe you're maybe you're filleting fish, baby. Maybe you're filleting fish with them really good, oh man. Really good knives are really good. Just saying, you know? Fucking, when you get there and you're like filleting the meat, dude. Okay. Oh, it's so, I, I like watching videos when people fucking, okay. I watched a video of a group of beautiful Japanese people fillet in this giant tuna with the sharp with the world's sharpest knives and it was so pleasing because like they it, they cut it into pieces and then there's this big chunk of tuna and this lady's just like with her and it's all like she's cutting it with her hand but the sharpest knife is in her hand she's wielding the sharpest knife and she's going down with laser beam precision and just snap and they're all like lines are so straight and it looks as if it was just it looks like as if a fucking you know a robot cut it or like a machine cut it you don't want to feel it's but it's tight it's man-made man woman made that's what this product is right here that's what this product is right here raw man-made made for made by the people for the people you know underground overground grain fed free range I love you all. I'll be back here again on Friday. Spread the word, cause this momentum is picking up steam, baby. Don't, you know, I, I'll i say it, man. Don't sleep on it. I'm just saying, just saying. Okay, you slept on it. Wakey, wakey. Time to not sleep on it. Talk to y'all very soon. Peace out.